Hello. I hope that everyone in Carmel is doing well as we continue to work our way through the COVID-19 crisis. I am confident that we are making progress and that we'll see light at the end of the tunnel soon. I have some good news to report, and that is that we now have testing in Carmel for pretty much everybody that wants to get tested. We have a local lab owner who has provided the same test that the CDC uses, and it's available uh, if you go to their website, ARIA Labs, A-R-I-A Labs. We made the decision to test all of our first line responders and then all of our city employees after confirming with hospital administrators and medical directors in the area that sufficient testing was available for patients and physicians and other healthcare workers. On the advice of our hospital administrators and hospital medica medical directors, and after talking with doctors at the State Board of Health, it was recommended that we focus this new ability to test for COVID-19 on our most vulnerable population. And those are the people in our nursing homes and assisted living facilities. So we may, on Friday afternoon, I was able to send an email to all the elder care facility administrators in the city of Carmel and say that this new expanded testing is available for their staff. And if they find someone who tests positive that's been in that facility, to be able to test all the residents of that facility. And I believe strongly that this will help protect our most vulnerable uh, citizens here in Carmel. We know the countries that were able to test widely and quickly when they were first hit with the coronavirus have been able to limit the number of infections, keep more people alive, and slow the spread of the virus. And that's what we're trying to do here in Carmel and central Indiana now that we have widespread testing available. All the health experts have told us it's going to be a challenging few weeks in front of us. This is, for many of us, the challenge of our lifetime. It's much like we heard from our grandparents and great-grandparents, the stories of World War II and the Great Depression, 9-11, bombing at Pearl Harbor, things that will stick in our collective memory for the rest of our lives. And I want to say to each and every one of you that if you look back in the years to come, think about asking yourself, what did I do to help my neighbors? What did I do to help slow the spread of this virus? We all know what we need to do. We need to physically distance. We need to wash our hands. We need to help those that need help. I am convinced that America will come through this as we've always come through every challenge. And I know the people of Carmel, Indiana will come through this challenge as well.